awesome. Yeah, it is all right. What do you mean all right? I had a blast. I even kissed Sean. Wait, you kissed Sean? Emily, you know I like him. Sorry, Casey. He just kept handing me drinks and man, those eyes. You are unbelievable. I don't even get why you're getting all mad at me. It's not like you even told him you liked him anyways. Whatever. You're such a whore. Excuse me, what did you say? I'm perfectly fine. You know what? Have a fun time finding your own way home. Uh, fine. I you or your back loyalty anyway. Whatever. Emily, is that you? Did you come to apologize? Oh my god, I think she's actually dead. Oh my god. Hi, um, I'd like to report a murder along the Milton Trail. No, there there's a dead body. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Another one? Can I get the address, please? All right, thank you. Hello? Hi, yeah, this is Detective Brittany Pringle. We're gonna need a full team. Uh, it's, it's pretty brutal. So what are we looking at? Well, I can tell you it's not a suicide, that's for sure. We have multiple staff wounds, so it looks like strangulation marks around the neck. Jesus. A jogger found her this morning. Uh, I have a record of the 911 call if you want it. Yeah, send it to me. What else did we find? A murder weapon? Identification? My team found this nearby. It looks like some sort of pocket knife. All right. Uh, the victim's name is Casey Hebert. She's a senior at Fife High School. I've gathered a list of potential suspects that we managed to pick up in the evidence. I mean, take a look. Hmm. Well, her last known contact was her friend Emily Kaufman. Mm -hmm. I think it's time we pay her a visit. Agreed. Hello, are you Emily Kaufman? Uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, my name is Detective Katie Breland and this is Detective Pringle. Do you mind if we come in and talk to you for a minute? Um, it's kind of a bad time. Ms. Kaufman, it'll only take a second. <sighs> Fine. Mrs. Kaufman, can you tell me where you were the night of May 27th? And full disclosure, I am recording this conversation. Uh, I was at a party and there was a bunch of people that had vouched for me. What is this about anyways? Do you know Casey Hebert? Yeah, we used to be friends. Used to be? Yeah, she was a total control freak the night of the party and we kind of got in a fight. What were you fighting about? Well, you see, there was this guy, Sean Baker, and at the party I kind of kissed him, and apparently Casey liked him, but it's not like she even told him, so it's not like I did anything wrong. Well, Emily, that's what we're here to find out. I still don't understand why two detectives are here over a cat fight for high school girls. Emily, how did Casey arrive at the party? I picked her up. Is that your car up front? The blue home is Civic? Yeah, that's mine. How was Casey planning on getting home? Uh, I was going to drive her home, but after our fight... Mrs. Kaufman, I, um, I don't know how else to say this, but Casey Hibbert was found murdered last night near the side of the party. Wait, really? Oh my goodness. Actually, serves her right. Excuse me? I mean, uh, she was getting on my nerves. Well, thank you for your time, Ms. Kaufman. We will keep you informed of the investigation. Doors that way. What a cute dog. Oh, thanks. Are, Are you Kelly Morgan? Yeah, how can I help you? My name is Detective Pringle, and this is Detective Breland. Hi. Sorry to bring this up, but yesterday morning you reported a murder on the Milton Trail. We'd just like to hear from what you experienced. I, I mean, there's not much to say. I was just running with Scout, and... There's just this body on the side of the trail. Do 
Do you run every morning? I try to. How did you discover the body? We were running and Scout pulled to the side and I looked and I thought it was just like, you know, some bum sleeping, but it wasn't. It was a dead body. Uh, did you notice anything peculiar about the scene? Anything you think could be potential evidence? No, I mean, it was, she was stinky. I think she might have been there a while. That's about it, though. Well, thank you for your time. Well, I mean, her story checks out. Hello? Bill? Are you 100% sure? Wow, okay. Thanks, Bill. Guess whose prints they found on that knife? Coffins. Yep, I think this warrants a probable cause for an arrest. Agreed. Emily Kaufman, we have a warrant for your arrest. Open up. Open up, or we're coming in by force. I'm innocent, I have my rights. Your wrist, please. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. I swear, you have the wrong person. It wasn't me! Hey, you did good work today. Yeah, I know, but something just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right? What do you mean? The evidence was found on the crime scene and it was Kaufman. She is the murderer. Still. I mean, take a look at this autopsy report. If that doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. Why does this autopsy report look like it's been erased in some places? Uh, I think that the medical examiner has a new intern. You know interns, always making mistakes. I didn't know Charlie had a new intern. Yeah, well, uh, he's uh, really new. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, looks like the body was found 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, and the body's in a plastic bag right now. Looks like there's a bruised carotid artery, blood surrounding the lymph nodes of the neck, fractured hyoid, petechial hemorrhages in the eyes, which are the body's camera, as well as provide depth perception and help with bouncing. Damaged larynx and lungs. This is evidence of comprised air passage. Larynx transports air from the mouth to the lungs, where it is used in cellular respiration. Lungs, with the help of the heart, transport vital oxygen to the cells within the body. Looks like she was intoxicated. Alcohol found near, found in the liver and the bloodstream. Um, shattered coccyx, stress factors, and sacrum radiating laterally. Defensive wounds on the antibrachium. Abrasions to the dermis. Damage present on the coronary process of the ulna. The brachialis muscle bruised. The, ulna's, the, ul the ulnar nerves severed, resulting in a motor deficient of the fourth and fifth fingers and weakness in the flexion of the wrist. Two broken nails protect the sensitive tips of the fingers. On the right hand, damage consistent with the struggle. Hmm. Well, alright. Hey, Charlie. Can you send me a picture of those strangulation marks? Thank you. Oh, and good luck with your new intern. I thought you had a new one. No? I must have misheard. You can't keep me locked up here like an animal. I want to see my lawyer. We can and we will. You are responsible for the murder of Casey Hebert. I am drunk. Can you, can you give us a second? I'll be right outside. I need to do a routine handprint from you. Will you cooperate? There's no point in struggling anyways because I'm not listening to me. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey, good news. The prosecution is confident they can commit Kaufman for a minimum of 10 years. And we're not talking Juvie, because she's over 18. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, um, would you mind like using this for just like a hand size comparison? You want my handprint for reference? Yeah, for reference. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> oh. 
Good? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. mistake. Wait. The handprint found on Casey's neck at the crime scene is exactly the same size as Detective Breland's. God! Oh hey, I was just planning us a little get-together to celebrate the closing the case. You are hereby arrested for the murder of Casey Hebert. Place your hands behind <laughs> Very your back. funny. Whoa, hey, hey! Hey, stop it! Hey, what are you doing? You have the right to be silent. Let me go. You have the right to an attorney. Stop. Anything stop you say can and will hey. be held against you in the court of law. Hey, 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 hey! I'm one of the good guys. What are you doing? There's no use in lying anymore, Katie. We know it's you. But how? I was first suspicious when you lied to me about the autopsy report. I did some digging on my own, and then realized the victim was strangled first. That means that whoever killed her would have had to knock her down first. So she must have struggled. Yeah, okay, that could have been Kaufman's handwork. I noticed back at the crime scene that you had a scratch on your hand that looked like it had come from another person. Kaufman's nails were manicured. That's ridiculous. I took a swab of your DNA when you weren't paying attention. And your palm footage. The hands that strangled Casey Hebert were two inches shorter than Kaufman's. I matched the handprints, and guess who showed up? Yours did. All right, all right, I confess. What I don't understand is your motivation. Why did you kill her? Remember two weeks ago when we were investigating that murder in the park of that girl? I killed that girl. It was me. It was easy. Except for one thing. Stupid little Casey Hebert saw me do it. So this was just me tying up loose ends. You Let know? me get this straight. You killed a teenage girl because she was a witness to your murdering of someone else? You monster. I hope you rot in prison. <laughs> I don't appreciate your film. I mean, I already got your confession, but come on. I was gonna dispose of the body until that stupid jogger found her. God. <laughs> By the way, you know all that evidence you found convicting Kaufman? I planted it. It would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. Sorry for all the trouble. It's alright. I'm just really happy you guys got the real killer.